This program deals with extreme weight loss and should only be attempted if you've tried everything else, are sick of lugging around excess flab, and have consulted a physician. What stands between looking drab and feeling fab? I feel like I could lose 10 pounds everywhere. Stomach, thighs, everywhere. <laughs> my thighs, I think they're the part of me that would be my last 10 pounds, I guess. I call my, my thighs ham hocks. So they look like a Christmas dinner. Leanna is a 20-year-old recruit who's got too much junk in the trunk. The last 10 pounds are always the hardest to lose. You know, it's like that one hurdle you have to get over in order to be exactly where you want to be. To the pole, to the pole, to the pole, to the pole. In desperate need of a fitness overhaul, don't look very happy. Leanna has enlisted in the last 10 pounds boot camp. My legs are sore. I'm wet. We're almost there. We're almost there. You don't like me very much right now, do you? No, not at all. I have these, these pants that used to fit me. I absolutely love them. I haven't worn these in probably over a year. Leanna was a tight 135 pounds in high school. Her weight exploded after she began a series of sit on your butt all day office jobs. That's probably as far as they'll go. I'm a fast food junkie. I know it's terrible, but it's really hard to, to avoid. I love junk food. Anything breaded or fried is, is gold. Mm. I'd describe myself as extremely dependent on technology. Well, I find technology and fast food kind of goes hand in hand. They're both extremely convenient. You don't need to, to exercise at all, really. You can just, you know, type a couple of buttons and you're having a conversation. The only thing that gets a workout is my thumbs. Wow. The strongest thumbs around. Leanna's on snack food like her pet lizard on a cricket. She scarves down over 2,500 calories a day, much of it while playing video games with her boyfriend, Quinn. I think there's one game I have here that I've put 48 hours into, which is a lot, a lot of time and a lot of not exercising. She's been feeling the urge to purge ever since Quinn began buffing up. I've been a little depressed and I've been down on myself and unhappy with how I look and I've been kind of taking it out on him. She said she gained a little weight since we met. Uh, it doesn't bother me, but it bothers her. My one year anniversary is coming up. I was a lot thinner when I got together with him and I just want to get back to that. I'm Tommy Europe, a pro football player turned personal trainer. And this is my partner, nutrition coach Nadine Bowman. Over the next four weeks, Leanne is going to work her body as hard as she works her thumbs. That looks really good. I don't know how I'm going to fit that in my mouth, but it looks really good. Mm. Leanna, put that fry down. Leanna, Leanna. Tommy Europe. Hi. I'll be your personal <laughs> trainer for the next four weeks. You can stand up. We're going to get you standing right here. Nadine Bowman, nutrition specialist. Hi. Bust, 38 inches. Not bad. Not bad. Waist, 33. <laughs> Hips, 46. 46 inches. It was last time. <laughs> it's time for the weight. OK. Body weight, 176 pounds. Wow. Not that wow. Little wow. Little wow. How tall are you? 5'4". And you're young? Yeah. You ready to put it in? Work hard? Totally. Nana, welcome to boot camp. Okay. Four weeks, you're ours. I maybe I was in denial a little bit of where I was at with my weight. And, you know, although it was humiliating, it was a bit of a wake up call. It's time to target in on Leanna's bulging gut and ham hock thighs. We're going to whip this five foot four video game junkie into shape. Back at Leanna's, Nadine's clearing out the junk. It's obvious this fridge is only being used for condiments, drinks, and stashing the leftovers. A ton of juice. Juice has just as much sugar as pop, and many people don't realize this, but it's, it's not good for you. There's just too much sugar. So Leanna has to get used to drinking water. Finally, the leftovers. Sorry, guys. Hey, Leanna. Oh, hey. Tons of great stuff here in the store. Look around, grab a few, and I'll meet you in front of the change room. 
It's really important to me. I want to look really nice for that day. You know, it's our one year anniversary. Yeah, this one's really cute. I really like this. I want it to be a really special occasion. See one. I don't think Quinn will be feeling that one. No, not really. I don't think it's an anniversary shirt. Part two. Now I'm feeling depressed. Nope. Third time's the charm. I don't think so. Nice. Yeah. Step out. Let's see it. Let's see it. A little I bit of really color. I really like this, yeah. So you're sold on it? Totally. That's the one you want? This is the one. We're going to get this same top in a medium, and we're going to get those pants two sizes smaller. Two sizes smaller? Two. <laughs> no way. I don't see it, I don't know. I've tried, you know, many other times on my own, you know, and I didn't lose any weight, so we'll see what happens. Ball to the ball to the ball. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, no, I'm done. It's approximately five pounds Nasty. of fat. I haven't worn these in probably over a year. Leanne has packed on the pounds and inches, thanks to her love for fast food and video games. Oh my god, no. Leanna, put that fry down. She joined the last 10 pounds boot camp, desperate to slim down in time for her first anniversary with her boyfriend. I was a lot thinner when I got together with him, and I just want to get back to that. Leanna, welcome to the drill test. Ready to get started? Yeah. All right. Push-ups. <sighs> the drill test is my first chance to see what Leanna's made of. No. It's clear she's going to be a handful. Go ahead. No, my name is Tom. <laughs> it's God right now. Oh, yeah? Oh, we'll God, see. yeah. She can swear all she wants. That doesn't bother me. But she's going to work. Looking good. <sighs> Come on. I can't. Yes, you can. No. Yes, you can. No. Yes, you can. Let's go. <sighs> OK, no, I'm done. Come on. No. Three more. Ready to sit down. Three more. Sit down. Is this how you want to finish it? With this, yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. OK, I got something else for you. Let's go. See the second pole down there? Run, touch it, come back. Full speed. Faster. <laughs> Being in the shape that uh, Leanna is in at the, at the tender age of 20 doesn't point good things out for her. Full speed, full speed, full speed. Yes, full speed. I really don't see the drive in her. She's not that strong. Cardio is horrible. Leanna really has to determine if this is something she wants to do. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. No, I can't right now. The emotion that you saw towards the end when she couldn't finish the drill test had a lot to do with her ego, a little bit to do with pain. I should be able to push myself more. I totally should. This is the drill test. This was the first day. We'll get back at it tomorrow. The intensity is not going to be any easier. I can handle it. You with me? Yeah. Welcome home, Leanna. To kickstart this recruit, Nadine prepared an intervention <laughs> based on Leanna's food diary. Does this look familiar? Some of it, yes. Chips and uh, pop, that was your breakfast from the other morning? Right, that doesn't look very good. This is representative of the foods you've been eating. You're drinking about two cups of juice a day. Yeah. Each one of these glasses represents eight packages of sugar. It's a lot of sugar. In fact, your sugar intake for a month is equal to about seven kilos or 14 pounds of sugar. Leanna's diet lacks balance. She's suffering from portion distortion, and that's likely due to the fact that she eats out in restaurants quite a bit, and the sizes that they serve are usually double what you actually need. You got your takeout chicken, you've got your fries, pizza, chips. I knew I was eating bad food, but it's kind of gross to see it all laid out on the table and everything, yeah. You know how much fat you're consuming in a month? Take a look in there. OK. It's approximately five pounds yeah, of fat. That is not good energy. Yeah. That does not keep your energy levels up, keep you going throughout the day. How does that make you feel? Not so good. No, it's not good. It's motivation for me. So, you know, when I'm eating healthy and I think about cheating, I can just look back or think back on that table there of what I was eating, you know. Okay, Liana. Welcome to your new food plan. All right. 
So as you can see, lots of vegetables, lots of fruit. We've stocked your cupboards, your fridge. This is a detailed plan of what you will be eating for every meal and every snack for the next week. I like how it's all portioned out. That's what I need. I need some structure. This here, an example of dinner. So this will be a turkey fajita. This is your turkey here, four ounces. This is a whole wheat fajita mm -hmm. with some salsa. This is something that you could get as a takeout item or a fast food item, but it's actually done with a healthy twist. We know that the days of pop and chips for breakfast are over. A balanced meal will accelerate her sluggish metabolism. Leanne is also banned from dining out. It is going to be challenging. Um, I'm pretty motivated now. I think I'll be able to do it. Okay, Leanna, no time like the present. Ready to get started? Yeah. Okay. Leanna has never worked out seriously in her life. So I've come up with a fitness plan that's simple yet challenging. Good. This is a great lower body exercise, which is gonna be one of our target areas for you. Really gonna target your quads, your glute medius, which is your main stabilizing muscle in your leg. In Leanna's case, all these exercises are new. She's not used to working different muscle groups. She doesn't have a lot of muscle tone, very soft right now. So she's gonna work till exhaustion, basically. And it's gotta be incremental. It's gotta be slow, just so she doesn't get injured. That's <laughs> yeah, okay. Leanna will report to the gym four days a week over boot camp. Her cardio will be gradually increased from 20 to 45 minutes a day. I'm also giving Leanna homework to do before she plugs into the Matrix. Video game junkie Leanna's learning, hey, there's, there's life outside the TV. And right now, she's in a whole different game. I got the remote. I have another workout in a couple more days. I don't know how much I'm looking forward to that, but, you know, I have to do it regardless of how much it sucks. Work faster. You can go better than that. No. We got a dress size. Come on, shake it, shake it. You don't like me very much right now, do you? No. Not at all. Leanna joined boot camp desperate to return to high school form before her first anniversary with her boyfriend. I've been a little depressed and I've been down on myself and unhappy with how I look. Two week weigh in. What are you expecting? Um, I think I've been doing pretty well, so let's see what happens. Gonna get you to stand right here. Bust 37 inches down one inch. For the waist, 31. You've lost two inches. Nice. Hips. Hips. 44. Down two inches. That's awesome. That's, That's totally really awesome. awesome. Nice work. You know what's next, right? Yeah. Get to stand up there. Weight, 100. 67 pounds. That's awesome. I'm totally excited about that. That's only two weeks in. I can totally do it. Did I almost see an L step? A little bit. <laughs> the drill test for me was a bit of a wake up call. You know, I couldn't run. It was really difficult for me to breathe afterwards. It, it really portrayed how unfit I was. So I, I took that as my motivation to try really hard, stick with the diet, do all the exercise, and, you know, my work paid off. Time to try on the Target outfit. Hmm. I don't know if I should try it on yet. Why not? You know, I've done so well with the two weeks. What's going to happen in two more weeks? What do you think? I think we're going to have to step it up a notch and get a size smaller. You're kidding. You already said two sizes smaller. Well, like you said, you're doing so well. We have to do something to motivate you to keep going. All right. At the two-week point, she lost nine pounds. Complacency is a very real possibility. I woke up this morning and I said, hey, I'm going to go hang out with Leanna this morning. Good morning, Leanna. Great. We're down one extra size. It's that time to step it up. Come on, Leanna, let's go. Move it, move it, move it. I've seen the crew from Grumpy Old Men run faster than that. Come on. The message I was trying to drive home to Leanna was to keep on going. You don't like me very much right now, do you? No, not at all. The work's not done yet. You've only done half the job. Come on, Leanna. Work faster, work faster. You can go better than that. And I'm going to keep pushing until the job is complete. We got a dress size. Come on, shake it, shake it. Yeah, I kind of wish I didn't open the door this morning. Lunge walk. Oh, no. You've got three minutes. You are on the clock. One minute down. Two minutes down. Three, two, one. Good. It was a bit of a miserable experience. I really just want to go home and go back to bed. You can go now. 
Oleana. Guess she's done for the day. For Leanna, slipping back into denial is a danger. I've put together a little animation for you. Now, if you keep your levels of inactivity up, bad eating habits, burgers, fries, video games for hours on end, this is what could possibly happen to you. Take a look. If Leanna gains just two pounds a year until she's 30, she'll be pushing 200 pounds. Not that hot, huh? No, I don't like that at all. Well, I want to make sure you never look like that. It is a big motivation for me, and you know, I'd never want to look like that. I don't want my life to, to end up like that. But you didn't think you'd be doing this four weeks ago, huh? No, it's one minute. Come on, come on, you can do it. Keep it going. You started at 176. Wait. Hooked on fast food and video games, Leanna entered boot camp completely out of shape. Okay, no, I'm done. She endured four weeks of strict eating and punishing exercise in an effort to slim down in time for her first anniversary with her boyfriend. I was a lot thinner when I got together with him, and I just want to get back to that. Now Leanna's about to be put through the boot camp's final test. I don't know, I'm a little nervous with what's going on. I have a feeling he's going to kick my ass a little bit. Welcome to your final challenge. If you look all the way down, we're gonna run all the way to the other side of the lake. No way, that is so far. Remember your sugar and your fries and your burgers? Yeah. We've converted those into lard and sugar. Great. And for one last time, you're gonna carry the burden of your past. Okay, let's go. Jog it, jog it, jog it. Nice steady breathing. Bet you didn't think you'd be doing this four weeks ago, huh? No. I'm gonna push you all the way up the hill. Oh, great. I told you there are gonna be some hills involved. Yeah, there's a lot of hills. Okay, it's one minute. Come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it. I wanted to quit, but you know, you're in the middle of you know the woods, you can't really stop, and you know, you, you meet the point of no return, you have to just keep pushing. Tired. I know, I know. Legs hurt. You can do it. You can do it. Just pretend it's a video game. <laughs> Press that extra power button. Yeah, right. That's it. When I met Leanna at the drill test, she couldn't run 30 meters. I kept what pushing her and, you know, just encouraging her just to keep on going. And uh, she wanted to stop a couple times, but that wasn't going to happen. How are you feeling? My legs are sore. My lungs are burning. I'm wet. We're almost there. We're almost there. the finish line, Leanna. Right through here. Come on. Finish line. Finish, finish, finish. Good job. We came from all the way in the other side of the lake. i to be honest with you. Four weeks ago, I didn't think <laughs> you stood a chance. <laughs> I thought it was going to be the longest four weeks of my life. Oh, no. At the beginning. So you taught me something. Never count somebody out. I'm really proud of myself. I didn't think I could, I could ever do that, you know, running uphill for four or five K with a bag full of crap. You know, I never thought I'd be able to do that, but here I am and I did it. It's time for Leanna to confront the scale for the last time. Hello, Leanna. Hey. How are you? Will she fit into her target outfit, which is now three sizes smaller? Nervous? A little bit. Bust. 35 inches. You're down three inches. Very wow. Nice. Yay. Waist. 30 inches. Down another three inches. How's that look up front? I'm looking good. Hips. 43. Down three inches. That's awesome. Nine inches in total. Yeah, that's cool. You have to notice that. Totally. Up on the scale, please. Weight. <laughs> 162 pounds. Down 14 pounds. That's awesome. 14. I was really happy with myself. You know, I've always had issues with self-esteem and 
you know, when I feel good and look good and, you know, people actually recognize it, it, it feels really good. Well, I can't wait to see you in your Target outfit. Shall we? Get in there and try it on. How's it fitting? Good, good. Wicked. Wow. Yeah. Very nice. Come here, you. And this is just the awesome. beginning. I know. Congratulations, you did it. You look amazing. I think for Leanna, she, she became and was a video game junkie because of lack of confidence, lack of self-esteem. I think you look at her now, she's got that sparkle in her eye. This is just the beginning for her. 20 years old, she's starting to eat healthy. This is gonna be a good lifestyle change for Leanna. Leanna is a boot camp Cinderella story. After losing a staggering 14 pounds, she's sold on her new lifestyle. Leanna is now working out almost every day and enjoying preparing healthy meals at home. When I started this, you know, it was all for, for Quinn, but it became more about me. You know, you do need to concentrate on yourself more and, and care about yourself and take care of yourself. You look great tonight. Thank you. I'm really happy with myself right now.